Hello friends, here we have to prove that the value of this definite integral e to the power minus a square x square cos 2bx between the limit 0 to infinity is root pi upon 2a e to the power minus b square upon a square. So first we suppose that this given integral e to the power minus a square x square cos 2bx dx this is equal to i. Here we can see that a and b both are independent from x. So these are the parameters. Here we use differentiation under the sign of integration. So first we differentiate here differentiate with respect to here b b is the parameter here so first we differentiate this with respect to the parameter b so this can be written as da upon db is equal to d by db of integration of e to the power minus a square x square multiplied by cos 2bx with respect to b. Now this differential coefficient d by db, you know that this differential coefficient d by db goes inside the integral sign, it converted into partial differentiation. So this can be written as del by del b of e to the power minus a square x square cos 2bx dx. You know that when this differential coefficient d by db goes inside the integral sign, it converted into partial differentiation with respect to b. Now we can see here this e to the power minus a square x square is constant because here we have to differentiate this function with partially with respect to b. So a square, e square e to the power a square x square is constant here. So we differentiate only cos 2bx. We know that differentiation of cos 2bx with respect to b is minus sine 2bx. And differentiation of 2bx, this is 2b because 2b is constant. So here we can see that differentiation of cos 2bx with respect to b is minus sin 2bx and here we differentiate partially with respect to b so 2x is constant here and differentiation of b with respect to b this is 1. You can see here, here we differentiate this partially with respect to b so e to the power minus a square x square this is constant now we differentiate only cos 2bx with respect to the parameter b so differentiation of cos 2bx with respect to b is minus sin 2bx when we differentiate this 2bx with respect to the parameter b so 2x is constant here because we have to differentiate this partially so this 2x is constant here and differentiation of b with respect to b is 1 here now you can see here this can be written as di upon db this is equal to e to the power minus a square x square and here we multiply it by a square in the numerator and a square in the denominator. You can see here in sign the integral sign we multiplied by a square in the numerator and a square in the denominator. You can see here here we multiply a square in the numerator and a square in the denominator inside the integral sign. Now this 1 upon a square is constant so it will go outside the integral sign. Now this can be written as e to the power minus a square x square minus 2a square x sin 2bx 
dx. You can see here 1 upon a square is constant. So we will take this outside the integral sign. Now here we use suppose that this is first function and this is second function. Here we use integration by part. We have to integrate. So we use here integration by part. So first we suppose that sin 2 bx is first function and second function is e to the power minus a square x square multiplied by minus 2a square x. So for finding the integral of the right hand side, first we find the integral of the second function. So we suppose that this is equal to i1. The integral of e to the power minus a square x square minus 2a square x dx this is equal to i1 now you we find the integral of this second function so we using here integration by substitution so put t is equal to minus 2a square x here we put here we put t is equal to minus a square x square now we differentiate this with respect to x. When we differentiate this with respect to x, we get a square is constant here and differentiation of x square is 2x here. So dt is equal to minus 2a square x dx. You can see here we put t is equal to minus a square x square. Now we differentiate this t with respect to x. So we get here dt by dx is equal to minus a square is constant. Differentiate x square with respect to x, we get 2x. So dt is equal to minus 2a square x dx. Now we put we put min in we put dt in place of minus. 2a square x dx. So i1 becomes e to the power t and dt. You know that here minus 2a square x dx this is equal to dt. So in place of minus 2a square x dx we put here dt and in place of minus a square x square we put here t. So this becomes integration of e to the power t. Now integration of e to the power t, this is equal to e to the power t here. We put value of t that is a square x square. So integral of the second function is here e to the power minus a square x square. Now we using here integration by part we using here integration by part so di upon db can be written as 1 upon a square here and on the right hand side we use the formula for integration of product of two functions so we write here the formula for product of integration of two functions so first we write here first function that is sin 2bx then integration of second function and we know that integration of the second function is e to the power minus a square x square then minus integration here and here we write limit first we write here limit that is 0 to infinity then minus integration 0 to infinity now we differentiate first function so here differentiation of first function that is sin 2bx is 2b cos 2bx here we write first function that is sin 2bx then integration of second function we know that integration of second function is e to the power minus a square x square minus integration 
then differentiation of first function here first function is sin 2 bx so differentiation of sin 2 bx with respect to x is cos 2 bx and when we differentiate 2 bx we get 2b is constant and differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 now integration of second function so second function integration is e to the power minus a square x square ds here we use integration by parts so first we write here first function that is sine to be x then integration of second function and we know that integration of second function is e to the power minus a square x square where we write limit then minus integration then differentiation of first function so differentiation of first function is cos 2bx multiplied by 2b because 2b is constant here and integration of second function that is e to the power minus a square x square now we put here upper limit in place of x we put here upper limit when upper limit is x put uh, upper limit is infinity put in place of x so to be multiplied by infinity we get here sine infinity and when we put here infinity in place of x so infinity square that is infinity infinity multiplied by a square that is also infinity so this is e to the power minus infinity now we put lower limit in place of x so lower limit is 0 here when we put here 0 so 2b multiplied by 0 that is 0 so sine 0 is 0 here and e to the power 0 is 1 so 1 multiplied by 0 this gives 0 here so when we put upper limit infinity in place of x we get sine infinity multiplied by e to the power minus infinity then minus we put lower limit in place of x, x lower limit is 0 here, so sin 2b multiplied by 0, that is sin 0, sin 0 is 0 here, and e to the power 0, 1, 1 multiplied by 0, this is 0 here. Now, 2b is constant here, and this is 0 to infinity, we write this, we write this, e to the power minus a square x square, and cos 2bx dx you can see here now this sine infinity gives finite value and e to the power minus infinity this is zero we know that this is finite value multiplied by zero minus you can see here this definite integral is the given integral which is equal to i so in place of this integral we write here i now finite value multiplied by 0 this gives 0 so this is equal to minus 2b upon a square i is equal to di upon db so di upon db is equal to minus 2b upon a square and uh, multiplied by i so, you know that this is the first order, first degree differential equation. So, we using here variable separable, we get di upon i, this is equal to minus 2b square upon a square db. We use here variable separable. Now, we integrate both the sides. Now, we integrate both the sides integrate both sides here we know that this di upon db is equal to minus 2b upon a square i this is the first order for degree differential equation we use here variable separable so this can be written as di upon i is equal to minus 2b upon a square db now we integrate both the sides so we write this integration of di upon i is equal to minus 2 upon a square and b db here minus 2 upon a square this is constant with respect to b so it uh, will be outside the integral sign and integration of b here now integration of 1 upon i with respect to i this is equal to log i 
एंड इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ बी इज बी स्क्वायर अपॉन टू एंड वी टेकिंग कॉन्स्टेंट हेयर लॉग सी वी टेक कॉन्स्टेंट हेयर लॉग सी नाउ यू कैन सी हेयर दिस टू इज कैंसिल आउट सो लॉग सी ट्रांसफॉर्म इन द राइट हैंड साइड वी राइट दिस लॉग आई माइनस लॉग सी इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी स्क्वायर अपॉन ए स्क्वायर सो यूजिंग फॉर्मूला ऑफ लॉग सो दिस कैन बी टेन एज लॉग आई अपॉन सी इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी स्क्वायर अपॉन ए स्क्वायर सो दिस कैन बी टेन एज आई अपॉन सी इज इक्वल टू ई टू द पावर माइनस बी स्क्वायर अपॉन ए स्क्वायर सो आई इज इक्वल टू सी टाइम्स ई टू द पावर माइनस बी स्क्वायर अपॉन ए स्क्वायर सपोज दैट दिस इज टू नाउ now we put now we find the value of the arbitrary constant is integration constant c now we find the value of integration constant c so for this we put b is equal to 0 in given integral 1 so the given integral is i is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus a square x square and cos 2 b x here we write 2 x multiplied by 0 you can see here that in the given integral there is cos 2 b x so we put d is equal to 0 in place of b so we get here this is cos 0 and we know that cos 0 this is equal to 1 so this becomes integration of e to the power minus a square x square dx now we find the value of the integral of e to the power minus a square x square so for this we put again t is equal to minus a square t is equal to a square x square now we difference we can write this x is equal to here we write x is equal to t upon a square so this can be written as x is equal to root t divided by a we solve this integral so for this first we put t is equal to a square x square So x is square equal to t upon a square taking square root. So we get x is equal to root t upon a. So we differentiate this dx upon dt is equal to one upon a, and differentiation of root t is one upon two root t. So this can be written as dx upon this can be written as dx is equal to One upon two a t to the power minus one by two t t. You can see here for solving this, first we put here t is equal to a square x square. Now x square can be written as t upon a square. Now taking a square root, we get the value of x that is root t upon a. Now we differentiate x with respect to t. So dx upon dt is one upon its constant, and differentiation of root t is one upon two root t. Now dx is equal to one upon two a t to the power minus one by two dt. Now we put value of dx here. So i is equal to zero. I is equal to e to the power minus t here, and one upon two a t to the power minus one by two dt. you can see here when we take lower limit x equal to 0 we put here x equal to 0 we get t is equal to 0 so the lower limit is also 0 when we put upper limit infinity in place of x we get infinity square that is infinity infinity multiplied by a square that is also infinity so t is equal to infinity you can see here lower and upper limit will not be changed because when we put 
x equal to to zero in this place we get t is equal to zero here. So the lower limit is zero when we put upper limit infinity. So infinity square that is infinity. Infinity multiplied by a square that is infinity. So we put here infinity. Now we can see here this one upon two a is constant here. And this t to the power minus 1 by 2 can be written as t to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 and e to the power minus 1 by dt. You can see this is the gamma function. You know that we know that gamma n this is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus x and x to the power n minus 1 dx. So, in the above integral, you can write i is equal to 1 upon 2a and value of this integral according to gamma function is gamma 1 by 2. And we know that gamma 1 by 2, this is equal to root pi. So, this is equal to root pi divided by 2. So, the value of the given integral is root pi upon 2a when b is equal to 0. You can see here the value of the given integral is root pi upon 2a when b is equal to 0. Now we put b is equal to 0 in 2 so we get i is equal to c. c is the integration constant here. You can see when we put b equal to 0 in the given definite integral, we get the value of i that is root pi upon 2a. And if we put b is equal to 0 in second, we get uh, i is equal to c. That means the value of the integration constant is root pi upon 2a. Now we put value of integration constant in equation c, we get here root pi upon 2a e to the power minus b square upon a square. Here we put value of c in 2 we get this i is equal to this one. So, the given integral e to the power minus a square x square multiplied by cos 2bx dx, this is equal to root pi upon 2a e to the power minus b square upon a square. So, this is the value of the given differential, different, definite integral. Thank you.